Okay, hello. We are officially recording on our first camera we've ever bought. Mm -hmm. So hopefully the sound and quality of everything is get starting to get better. Okay, so <laughs> for our first video, what we're going to be doing is taking you along on a little tour of our new house property. Not house, we're not going in the house. We don't need, we can stay out here. <laughs> we are buying my grandparents' house mm -hmm. and they were farmers and they had a beautiful garden. So we are going to try to revive it because it needs a little little TLC. <laughs> and today is going to be day one of working. The goals for today is to plant two beds. We want to plant our broccoli, like all of our brassicas and our onions because they need to be planted very badly we're also gonna build two beds potentially build two beds and then we have to bring our other beds over from our other house mm -hmm. and to move them so it's going to be a big work in progress every journey starts with a single step right got to start somewhere yeah so let's go on a little walking tour of the place all right well first thing is it has this fun little path here a beautiful maple tree that we've already tapped and actually, we need to, that's disgusting. That's been there way too long. I think it's mostly rainwater too. Yeah. Planter boxes over here. Ooh, that needs to be cleaned. This is a mound of dirt and has a ton of tulips in it. What we're really excited about are these two apple trees. I don't know what kind they are, but they're already starting to bud out, which is very exciting. We also are excited about our rhubarb. There are, I think, maybe seven rhubarb. Yeah, we counted seven yesterday. Yeah. Here's one. Look at those. I think in this patch, my grandparents used to have their vegetable garden over here, but it's gotten pretty shady now. So what we're going to do now is probably just plant some squash over here. Not sure yet, though. Here we are, another little garden patch. I don't know what type of bushes these are. And then we have, what, three more apple trees over there. They definitely need to be trimmed, but that's a future problem. We have a beautiful lilac bush. Over here is all bluebells and some overgrown grasses, tulips. There's a walnut tree over there as well. This is full of perennials and some weeds. I don't know what type of perennials. I am not super knowledgeable on perennials but hopefully as they come out i know them more we'll see though that's a wild max and okay, then there's here this is kind of where the bulk of our garden is going to be i believe because this is where it's sunniest obviously not right now this is a peony bush then we have a peach tree and a ton of daffodils. So as I said before, this is where we're hoping to have our raised bed garden, but there are perennials everywhere. We're gonna hopefully try to transplant some of them, but I don't know how much, and I don't think everything's come up yet, so we'll see. So today we're going to start by filling up the garden beds. What's kind of nice, but also not nice, is that they had this big pile of yard waste just kind of sitting here. So we're going to put it in our garden beds to help fill them so we don't have to fill them with a ton of soil. And it's already starting to decompose a lot. So, yeah. It's gonna be great. Okay, so for today, we're going to be planting some onions. We have a bunch right here and they're kind of um, a little overgrown, so we're gonna hope for the best. I think I'm going to set them out first and then plant them all. Okay, I was hoping for a few more roots, but that's okay. I do like how these just come out. Like that. Oh, oh, okay. Maybe. Maybe I like that. Maybe not. <laughs> Everything looks 
All right, we planted three cauliflowers here and then a bunch of different onions, as you can see. Then all in the grow bags. They're not going here permanently, but this is where they're going for now. We have our potatoes. So we planted this blue. I feel like that looks more purple, but yes, this one's blue. Is there a better name for this? <laughs> then the red Norlin. Then this one's Kennebec. And these three, no, these two are red Russet. No. And then these three are Russet Burbank. Burbank? Those three also go with these three. We're going to put some frost cloth over. Something I'm really bad about is um, hardening off my plants. So I use the frost cloth to help me. Eventually we're gonna have mulch down on everything. But this looks pretty good for now. Then these are semi hydroponic pots and we planted all of our cabbages in here. Some of them have little protectors. This is what my grandparents always did. So I'm just kind of following what they did. And you can see that is where you fill them up with water. So pretty cool. All right, now this is our experiment. I've never really grown too much in ground by myself. So I'm experimenting with this broccoli. Okay, wait, first of all, let's look at my shirt. It says, I love gardening from my head to, to my, my toes. toes. It's the best shirt I've ever seen. Okay, we had a great day. Um, really great day. There's so much to do. <laughs> we made a dent. Yeah, we did a lot of onions and we actually planted some more onions at my parents' house with the garlic that we planted last fall. Mm -hmm. And where some heads didn't come up. Yeah. And we planted the garlic there last fall because we weren't for sure if we were going to be moving. So we didn't want to plant it at our old home and then have to move it. So that was just safe. But here we, all we managed to do was fill the two beds and fill the garden, the grow bags. Mm -hmm. And we did fill about eight grow bags though. Yeah, we used up so much soil. Mm -hmm. 40 cubic feet yeah. is my estimate. Yeah. We had a, it was a very successful day though. We didn't get around to building the new beds. Mm -mm. So hopefully next weekend we'll be able to do some of that. But everything's just a big work in progress. It's going to be great. A little bit at a time. Mm -hmm. Very happy with what we've done. We still have all of our broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts. Like we still have all of our brassicas that need to be planted out. We were only able to plant a few today. Mm -hmm. And they really need to be planted. They, uh, the only thing we fully planted out the brassicas was the cabbage. Mm -hmm. Better than nothing, right? Yeah, and I'm looking at I'm looking at the cabbages right now, and they're gonna they're gonna look good. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. I've never grown this. I've never grown cabbages before, and these are supposed to be small, little small. And I like this. our experiment. We planted some just in ground. Yeah, we planted. I don't think we've done we, that before. Yeah, I think we was it a broccoli. Mm -hmm. I'm really bad about labeling things. Really bad about labeling. Well, things. our philosophy is once it grows Ooh. and we eat it, we know what it is. Yeah, but then how are we supposed to know which type it is? Like, if it's a type of broccoli, how do we know which one it is? Taste. <laughs> Smell. We're really excited about this new gardening year. It's going to be great. I feel like I'm going to have to get a microphone because I don't know if you guys can hear me. Hopefully they can't hear me. Yeah. It's probably for the best. It was just so good to be in the garden today. Mm. We, it was a beautiful day. There's no clouds in the yeah. sky right now. It was, in the, it was like 50 degrees and sunny. It was like that perfect temperature where you were working, you were warm, so you could be in a t-shirt. Yeah. Hopefully for the rest of the week we'll be able to get in a little bit more. I'm planning on coming here after work, and then next weekend we'll be back. We'll probably be back here every weekend until we move in, which is, we don't know when we're moving in yet. Hopefully in a month. And then after we'll be here every weekend. Every day. <laughs> Forever. So. We're excited. Okay, well, I think that is all for today. So thank you so much for tuning in to episode one of our garden remake. Adventure. Garden adventure series. <laughs> I don't know what we're gonna call this yet. Make sure you subscribe so you can see the rest of our gardening adventures and garden remake series. I don't know what we're calling this. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Yeah, so thanks everyone. We'll see you next time. <laughs>